Hollywood is coming home with takeoff media. But sometimes Hollywood is not the most important thing in the world. Perhaps you want to use your home theater at times to consume some high-end music, some stereo music, for example. And that's the topic I'm going to discuss with Sébastien Gailleton in the first and final part of our interview. Um, we will add a nice discussion about software recommendations for using ART later. But the first question is, well, it's very important to me as I'm wondering each day when customers call me um, and explain me that they use in the same room different hardware and two different, two totally different approaches to get a good sound quality. For example, they want a Storm audio processor with DREC and ART and all the stuff for their home theater. But on the other side, they want a old school two-channel processor that is not even capable of doing bass management at the same time. And in my opinion, this does not make too much sense as you always have the room that defines the sound quality in the first place. And uh, I took the chance to proceed this question to Sebastião Gaeto. It's not a, a, a tradition between uh, what we would call the, the stereo guys and, and the multi-channel guys. There, there is a mindset difference. Um, uh, I know. But but al also, uh, how, how can I turn that? I think there is a belief that digital processing is damaging the signals. Yeah that everybody believes that this is bad, right? But uh, they, they forget, they are just forgetting that nowadays, um, certainly 90% or even more, 99% of all the studio mixing, all the recordings that are done in studios and, and in big concert and all that, this all goes through digital processing. The, the sound engineer, when he's making his mix, is doing tricks to the song using digital processing. When when you go into your best, wonderful, great mixing consoles, it goes through digital. And so in the end, what if you just stay digital and, and work around that and do, uh, you know, so th that to me, that's a wrong statement to think that being purely analog without any EQs is better. Yeah. This is wrong because actually this is forgetting one very important thing. And I think if someone tell you that in his room, playing his system in pure analog, no EQ, two channel, uh, in his room without, I mean, and then he switched to something that has been properly calibrated so that it improves the, the let's say, the parameters about like room decay and all that. I mean, I, I would not say he's a liar when he says that it is better without the EQ. I, I would have very hard time to trust him because there is a limit to, uh, unless, unless one thing, his room is perfect acoustically in terms of treatment. Yeah. Uh, I have always one approach to say that it is always better to not use too much of the EQs and all that. Start by doing a proper room design make such a way that you get a nice, uh, uh, you know, a very nice decay time over the frequency range of something that is controlled before you do anything. Because what you're looking for is how your speaker is going to... to Even to... considering ART as an option? Of course. You know, in, in each webinar that I did, I start by emphasizing, saying that active room treatment is not here to tell you get rid of your passive treatment no it's here to tell you that below 150 hertz we have a solution that helps you do better than what passive treatment would do in the low frequencies or let's say better considering that to do great low frequency control in a room requires really heavy systems I mean, helmet resonator, yeah. the size you would not imagine, uh, bass traps, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah. art is just looking at helping in getting rid of that. But for the rest, everything that is above the the 150 hertz in that case, of course, you still need to look at how the room behave, and you still need to put some absorber here and there, diffuser, etc. But those guys, you can just now 
look at using materials that will be benefit uh, beneficial in the frequencies above the, the 150 hertz. Hey, and that it? simplifies a lot the selection. Pick your favorites for our customers to test Direct ART with. What, what are your most favorite um, albums or movies to test Direct ART with? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, it's, oh, God. <laughs> I'll start right away. I prefer using a quite an old movie. It's called Too Fast, Too Furious. Okay. Where you have a very um, music oriented intro where you can clearly hear the advantages of the um, improved bass impulse in okay. your when yeah. using. Uh, and it's very um, atmospheric. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on. It's just 2D materials or 5.1 or 7.1, but actually it makes a pretty good job delivering uh, what ART is about because it's about the low frequencies or watching the first sequence of Passengers where the Avalon flies uh, by. And you can clearly uh, get an idea of where the sound gets more precise rather than just boomy uh, with yep. the spaceship. But I don't know whether you have some more um, tips for experiencing ART. Uh, well, to me, as I said, I mean, it, it's a very easy answer. Uh, take take your your uh, usual soundtrack where, where you have the, the uh, I mean, a lot of bass. But but what's and, what's the and, one you picked? No, well, I mean, in in movies, the the one that I really uh, one that I really like is 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 some somebody. It's, it's not only art uh, related, but uh, in in the Maverick, uh, the Top Gun Maverick, um, there there is this uh, two minute fifteen seconds. The Canyon Run. The canyon run and uh, the the experiment that uh, uh, Maverick is doing. How many times have you watched this sequence? <laughs> Not a thousand times, but a few hundred times, that's for sure. But to me, um, the art here, it's, I mean, this is the perfect illustration of what happens when you start to integrate everything properly, because you then feel feel really that you are with the guys. I mean, you know, we used that track at the Iron Show and it was kind of impressive to see uh, some people were like moving with the guy. They, they were turning around. And, you know, when you have this sensation that the moment that the flight is, the, the plane is doing this and this, you feel it. You, you have the sound that is actually doing that. And... The active room treatment really helps make it make this really well integrated, and and that's one 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 extract. The other thing is, I'm I'm referring again to two channel. Uh, I mean, I, I'm I'm not a Billy Eilish uh, fan, but she's doing some great things. And one one track that I've been very surprised to listen. It's the one she called Xani, uh, and and uh, she she is using signals that are kind of distorted bass that is, is pants all around you. It mm -hmm. has, there is a face thing. And we, we, with, the, with the art, it's like, God. And, and the, other, the other guy, I mean, um, there is also one, one song from James Blake. Uh, I, I can try to find the title for you, but uh, one song where he's actually using extremely deep bass very fast and and that i could not play it with uh with, with that art it, it was not really? nice it was like oh it's too heavy it's boomy it's whatever with art it was like i i could feel my 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 um a timpani i could feel it like you know tightly moving it's like what that's compelling hell? it's it's really um that's one of track but otherwise i mean there are too many contents I cannot tell, uh, but I do I do like very much uh, um, uh, the the uh, the concerts, and and uh, that's another way to uh, to enjoy what art is doing uh, because it's it's nice to go through uh, you know the effects, but those those things are kind of artificial. 
if, if you go to uh, real recordings and real instruments and you start to have a, a bass guitar that that really makes your makes your body you know shake like like oh god that that's good so the the tightness that you can get with art but uh, I, can, can be uh, seen in in many extracts but i suggest not to take the the common hans zimmer blu-ray as i think this is produced quite boomy and not representative for art and bass you yes you might be right yeah yes i'm wondering why so many people uh actually benefits or really favors this uh, production <laughs> okay that's another topic yeah so uh okay thank you so much for your time it was uh, very enjoyable talking with you about certain technologies and um, art in general you're welcome i can imagine that you uh, expected some kind of different questions i was expecting different questions yeah oh no you, no, no? no i think it's per, it's fine uh honestly uh no maybe, maybe I, i would i mean you, you could have asked m much more deep technical questions and i would have tell you well i'm not the guy to answer you i mean i i try to to get a good grasp of 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 all these things in the details but I, i'm not myself an acoustician engineer you know i'm, I'm just one guy who, who loves the technology and and try to make sure that we use it the best way yeah, well sure this uh interview is not supposed to to cover how to set up your room perfectly it's about art and uh... no and we did webinar yesterday about that so you know if if i were to i've been say... attending that so yeah 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 so ju just go to our content on that we we do now have uh, two webinars about active room treatments a complete knowledge base where you have all the tips and how to use what to adjust what if you have that what to do etc so go through the websites and 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 you know and and yeah play with it yeah I, i i put the links down below in the description so everyone can that's great shout out thank you so much for your time sebastian You're welcome Lars. Merci beaucoup. A bientôt. Bye. <laughs> you finally made it this was the final part of our interview with sebastian gaito uh, i'm very thankful that sebastian took the time to join us and to answer those uh, elaborate questions and um, thank you so much for your time there is some more content in our youtube channel most of them 99 is in german language i hope you can use the translator the auto translation is quite okay and uh, i think there are some videos from ces cedia stuff like that who are predominantly being produced in, in english language so hopefully you can get some more information out of that and Well, if you have some questions and live in the German-speaking area, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, you're very welcome to approach us to, to buy some hardware or even get a home theater from our company. And uh, I wish you all the best and enjoy your home theater. Have a nice time. Bye.